Welcome to the Crown Royal full-on guitar lesson here. Today we're going to run through the entire song bit by bit. We're going to be covering the harmonic framework of everything. We're going to get into all the mechanics that were used for this. We're going to get into the phrasing itself and as well as some slowed down demonstrations played along with the tabs so that you won't lose your place at all along the way. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing to note here is that I am tuned to a seven string guitar in drop A. And what that means is that for the low E string all the way up to the high E string, it's in standard tuning, okay? So we've got E, A, D, G, B, and E. But for the low seventh string, we have the low A, okay? That is tuned a whole step down. What that gives me is this drop feel. All the way up, okay? So you can play power chords with one finger there all the way through. And that's really cool for me because when I'm writing, it allows me to play really big chords. Okay, it allows me to play really big chords. It allows me to play uh, slap stuff. And it allows me also to have a, a lower range on that lower seventh string there. So um, I can play really heavy, genty stuff. I can play uh, heavy metal stuff, alternative metal stuff, what have you. I've even played church gigs for years using a seven string in this tuning. So um, just so you know, that's the tuning. Let's go ahead and get into section number one. So for this opening slap section, my brother actually wrote this on bass and then tracked it on guitar back in like 2014 or something. So we've been figuring out what to do with this song. And now it is an instrumental tune, all right? So um, I had to learn the slap part is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it, was, uh, it was pretty hard and pretty tough, but it's taken me years, but now I've finally got it down. Okay, so the way you want to think about this is in four parts, okay? The thumb being the one, the pointer finger being the two, and the uh, ring finger, or the, sorry, the middle finger being the three, okay? So thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, okay? And then you're also going to have this slap here as well on the left hand. So that's going to be four, or I'm just going to call it slap for now, okay? And we're in four, four time here, okay? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. The way that it works is that we've got one slap, one, two, three. 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 One. Okay, and um, that's the pattern there. Okay, and we're, you're just hitting that string open slapping down right and then you're landing on the 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 thumb as well so this thumb kind of acts like a slap as well on the third stroke there so one slap one pluck pluck and you're going to pluck on the you're going to slap you're going to thumb on the low a string you're going to pluck on the pointer finger E string, low E string, and then the A string is going to get the middle finger. And right now, you may be wondering, what, I'm, what am I doing with the pick, right? How am I going to play this live? Well, all I do is curl that pick up into my ring finger and pinky finger, the rest of the fingers, pretty much. Curl it into my palm, okay, so that I may have that pick later on, okay? So... Right? And then it gives me time to get back. So when you've got high gain going on in the amplifier, it's not going to really sound much different from the pick, right? And hitting it with my nail on the side there. So that's kind of a little hack, just something to think about moving forward. So now let's see how that's played along with the tabs to the timing in the background.
have to do a little bit of muting there as well on the other strings just to make sure you're hitting the particular note that you want to, okay? So practice this really slow. Try to get maybe the form down first. Like I said, you know, uh, you're just gonna hit that uh, one slap, one, two, three, one slap, one, two, three, one slap, one, two, three, one slap, one, two, three. And then maybe you can start adding on that three, this note here on the pointer, uh, on the pointer, well not pointer finger, but on the first fret uh, A string, right? So. Okay, and that's how it goes. That is the slap section. Let's move right into the leads and get into verse one. Now getting into the actual verse here, the phrasing here, okay? Now it goes so, like this, okay? So we're sliding up. Okay, so we're sliding up to that ninth fret. Okay, hitting the octave below on the A string. Okay. All right, using that extended pentatonic scale. Okay, now we're on the D chord, D minor chord. All right. Hitting, uh, that's going to be the minor third of D minor. It's going to be F. And now what we're trying to do is outline that F major 7 chord, okay? Going into that C major arpeggio. Now, don't be confused here, okay? All we want to do is use as much of the information within that key as possible. All right, so this just goes to show you don't have to play on the root of that chord to get good phrasing out. As you can see, I'm using F major, C major. These are all chords that are within the key of A minor, right? So you can use them, all right, freely. So again, this is a four note pattern, right? Outlining this. Okay, that arpeggio. F major. One, two, three, four. Okay, now what I did was I went over here to the uh, seventh of C major. All right, sliding up with that pointer finger there, so. Right, let me do that again. Okay, so we have the C major arpeggio here. So I'm using those together. Okay. So um, so D major, D minor, and then F major, and then G, like I said, right? Okay, so what we're doing there is that we're going up. Basically, what I like to do is take that C major and break that up horizontally, right? Okay, but instead of taking it up just C major, I decided to throw some pentatonics in there. So we have like some E minor pentatonic in there. Okay, so we have it. Okay, so. Sliding up, tapping on that 19th fret, 20th fret, 14, 12, 9. Okay, so that's the first part of the phrase. Second part is gonna be. Back 
to that C major arpeggio. Just utilizing the arpeggio to make the phrases, okay? Right? Uh, right? All right, A minor pentatonic there. Okay. And then to take us out, we're going to start from G here, but we're still playing A minor. Just starting on the second finger. Okay. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Now remember what I said about that B flat major chord, right? Okay. So that takes you straight into that B flat major, okay? This B flat major triad here is being outlined. Okay, so anyway. Okay, you're just going here, slide up, okay? Starting on the, uh, that's gonna be the eighth fret. And then we're sliding into a C major arpeggio. All right, sweeping that. Okay, now because I'm ending here on the third, that's going to be a first inversion. That's going to be a second inversion, C major arpeggio. So both of these are C major, just different inversions. And then grabbing C and bending it up to D. And that's gonna take us into the first chord of the chorus there. So let's go ahead and play that through to the beat. That is verse one. Let's go ahead and get straight in to chorus number one. Here we have a sort of anthem melody going on, and we're sliding up on the G string to the seventh fret. And then, of course, chucking or palm muting on that fifth fret A string, all right, which is the octave below it. So we're just following that melody. Seventh fret. 9th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, right, and then to the 12th fret and 14th fret on that D string there. And then we're just supplementing uh, for space there. Okay, and then we're coming down back to here to the seventh fret. Okay, that extended pentatonic scale I talked about. Okay, now when we get here, it's sort of like a power chord with like a, uh, with like a tail to it. Okay, so we're gonna have five, seven, nine here on the E, A, and D string. Okay, so put that together. G major chord. Okay, coming down on that 12th fret there, bending that up, okay? And then we're gonna play that again. 
Okay? And then we're finishing off with that B flat major chord, right? B flat. And then we're going to finish off with the arpeggio. Okay? It's going to be a four note pattern. And then we're pulling down on that uh, dive bomb there, okay? So. And that is the end of that particular section. Let's go ahead and play through the whole thing to the beat. That is chorus number one. Let's go ahead and get into verse two. So for verse two, we end up with A minor, same as before. D minor. F major. G major. And then we get into A minor. Okay. And then we end up with this A over C sharp chord. Okay. Now these slash chords is just C sharp is going to be the third of A major. So this is basically an A major chord. So we're going A minor. A major, okay, but we want to have that C sharp on the bottom. All right, that goes into D minor. And then um, F major. And instead of ending on G major, we end on B flat major. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the phrasing. So pretty similar to before. We're gonna slide into that extended pentatonic. Okay, and then now we're gonna be utilizing the arpeggio. I use four note patterns all the time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? So, um, okay, so we were using A minor before, but we decided to go up to the uh, ninth of A minor or the uh, major seven of C major. Okay, so it's kind of a fusion of the two. Okay, back on the third of D minor again. Then we're going to use this C major arpeggio, but we're going to string skip. Okay, this F major, sorry, this F major. F major seven arpeggio. But we're going to... Right? So, um, okay, and then what we're going to do is use this uh, F major 
uh, scale, or F Lydian scale, but it's all in the key of A minor, right? So now we're going to start doing this uh, tremolo picking thing where we're going to be starting on the 10th fret here, D string. Okay? It's always, and we're going to follow that all the way up. With the ring finger there. Okay, so um, right, so that's going to be octavized there. So what you end up with there is you start bending up on A minor, right? As I showed you. Okay, so you're bending on the 15th fret there, D, B string and e, high E string. And then you're gonna be on the 19th fret. And then bending up on the 22nd fret. Okay, so you're gonna bend up, tap, pull off. Okay, and then we're gonna bend on the um, 15th fret. coming down on D there, okay? So, um... Okay, now we're on the D minor chord. Four note pattern. Okay, so... on that 22nd fret and then hitting that tap on the 23rd fret again, okay? But this time you're gonna hold it up there and vibrato, okay? So. have that okay let's go ahead and play that all the way through That is verse two. Let's go into chorus number two. So we're ending that on B flat major, that previous section. Now we're gonna begin with that for chorus two. And one cool tip to modulate properly is to use any of the chords in the previous key or the key that you're currently in to pivot into another key, okay? In this case, B flat major, B flat, yeah, B flat major is not a part of E, uh, not a part of A minor, right? So I was actually borrowing that chord from the key of D minor for later. Okay? Which is B flat major is actually the set uh, the sixth chord, right? Of D minor, C major being the seven chord, and D minor being the one chord of that minor key. Okay, so we have six, seven, one being D minor, 
And then we have this C over E, okay? E, it being an E major chord, or sorry, it being a C major chord, but we have uh, E being on the bottom, okay? And then we have F major, and then we have C. And then we play this, okay, this F over A, which is an F major chord, with an A in the bottom, okay? And then B flat major, C major, D minor, C over E, F major, and then G, and then we have E dominant, or E7. And then we end on that big A minor chord there, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the phrasing. Okay, so we're gonna be playing the same melody as before, honestly, but we're gonna have different notes in the bottom. So I play this one of two ways. I can play it getting that B flat, C, D, that E being uh, C over E okay or I can play it okay I like playing it with the low um, the lower uh, notes on there because they actually match the, the chords Okay, and now we're in the key of B of D minor, sorry, D minor we're in. Okay, all your options. Or. Or. Okay, possibilities are kind of endless here, okay? But anyway. So just taking that up and throwing a little variation on the melody there. So, uh, okay, so we've got 10, 12, and 14 there. Sliding up, major arpeggio, uh, what is that, F major arpeggio. C major arpeggio there. D minor. All right. Again. Right. Okay, doing that little slur down to F major. It's just F major arpeggio there, just two ways of playing that. All right, we're just doing this sort of uh, melodic minor thing. Uh, sorry. just symmetrical okay and then ending on that fat a minor chord let's go ahead and play that along to the beat Thank you. 
there you have it. That's chorus number two. Let's go ahead and get right into this big old whopping solo section. All right, so time for the solo section. This solo section, harmonically speaking, is very easy. It's pretty much the same thing all the way through. It's just two chords. We're gonna be playing B flat major first. And then we're gonna be playing B minor. B flat major. B minor, okay? That is the entire harmonic framework of that, okay? And that's cool, these types of vamps, because it leaves room to do some pretty cool things, harmonically speaking, within the solo. So let's just go right ahead and get straight into the phrasing. So remember, we're in the key of D minor here, so the first chord being B flat is gonna be the sixth chord of D minor, okay? So we're gonna start here on the fifth fret on the A string. And just we're gonna ar arpeggiate this. Uh, our D minor pentatonic. Let's double st double stop here. Ninth of D, of B minor there. On B minor. And to be more specific, that run is actually B Dorian. Okay. If you want more info on that, reach out. Join the academy. Okay. I teach all this stuff. want to visualize that better as well just be looking for where your B's are okay back to D minor the key of D minor on that B flat major right so we're on F B flat minor right F major arpeggio, B flat major arpeggio, but we're gonna be going up diagonally or horizontally. Okay. B minor, right? And then we're gonna play this B minor, sort of B minor six chord, so Dorian. I end up playing it. Okay, a little Greg Howe at the end. And then for the second part, we're gonna be playing D minor, C major, B flat major, A minor, G minor, right? And then F major there, okay? So it's just uh, diatonic uh, progression there. Okay, so kind of... It's actually more of a D minor arpeggio. Okay, D minor 7 arpeggio. So, yeah, so... Uh, D minor, C major, B flat major, A minor, G minor, D minor seven. Diagonal shape. Okay, so take this arpeggio up, B flat, right? So seven, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five. 
okay? Or if you want to look at that in frets, we're going to go 5, 6, 5, 8, five, uh, yeah, 5, 6, 5, 8. And then on the next string, we're going to go um, 7, 8, 7, 10. And then we're going to be going 10, 11, 11 10, 13, tapping on the 17th fret, sliding up, okay? So we're going to go... All right, I'll play that again. Sliding up on that pointer finger. All right, so then we're going to go um, 13th fret, 17th fret, 18th fret, then 19th fret, pulling off to the 15th fret, 14th fret. All right, and then we have the 20th fret, and then 17th fret, and then 13th fret. Okay, bending up on that 17th fret. Okay. Okay, now, now we're back in B minor, right? Kind of um, putting some chromaticism around this pentatonic lick here. So again, bending up and grabbing that, that next string above it as you come down. Okay. So B, B minor, okay? B minor pentatonic. Really cool lick there. And then back into D minor, right? On that B flat major chord, which is the sixth chord of B minor. Okay, so that's the pattern, right? We're going to use this pentatonic scale. Okay. Again. And then we're going to be highlighting again D minor, right? Just moving that third note up. All right, B minor, bending up to the ninth there. B minor arpeggio. All right. Um, and then coming back into the B flat major chord. Now we're coming into that A major, right? Right, or actually kind of like, okay? So, What that is is kind of like an A minor pentatonic, but with the third in there, right? So instead of you get okay, so four note pattern. That is the end of that, okay? Very long-winded, but let's go ahead and play that along to the beat.
Is the complete solo for Crown Royal. Let's go ahead and finish things off with the last section and that is going to be chorus number three. So here we have the same chords as chorus two, just B flat major, C major, D minor, C over E, F major, C major, F over A, okay, B flat major, C major, D minor, C over E, F major, then G minor, G major, I'm sorry, G major, and then E7, right? Or E major. And then finishing off with A minor. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this thing off with the final chorus. Now when playing this phrasing here, we've got a different feel altogether on the rhythm. Before it was... Right? This time we're just straight chugging. Okay? So we're not going to be playing the. We could, but I thought I'd make it wide open. I make the phrasing more wide open. So no palm muting, just. Okay. So the phrasing's more wide open there, all right? And then we're gonna play the same thing as before on this D minor pentatonic scale. So, okay, this F major arpeggio. Okay, so. actual track okay all right and then it overlaps so when I play it live it's like I 
by just utilizing that uh, uh, the top of that D minor arpeggio. Okay, F major seven arpeggio. Right. Just throwing those little inflections in there. Okay. Finishing things off here with this giant tap here on F major 7. So we're on the uh, ninth fret, 10th fret, 14th fret G string. And then we're on uh, 8, 12, and 13 on the high E. And then we're on um, um, 8, 12, and 15. Okay. Here. So. Okay, so so when you pull off to the 13th fret, you're going to bend straight up either with your pinky or if you can get your ring finger over there. Just touching on that dominant. Okay. Right, that major third, right? Bending up in that 17th fret high E and landing back down on A minor there, okay? That is the entire song. Make sure you take this, study this, to help you with your phrasing. As you can see, there's a lot more actually going on in the harmony in the background than you would think, but that's the whole art form, I think, of writing music, you know? You don't want it to sound like a music school project, right? You want it to sound like music, but when you actually break it down, there's a bit of juicy information in there to use for your own playing, okay? Check out the jam pack. Inside, you're getting access to the full playthrough with the tabs all the way through. You can speed up or slow down the actual video. You get the backing track and the track itself in MP3 format, as well as the Guitar Pro tabs for all the rhythms and all the leads. I'm glad that it's out. I'm glad that you guys are loving it. Remember to like and subscribe and support your boy in the streams on Spotify as well. And I will see you guys in the next release coming out next month, okay? We're about a few weeks away. I'll see you there. Peace.